and down where the tension builds for the final decisive set of championship runs. We're on board now with Jim White in his Radical Mini already launching a car off the line and down the fast downhill swoop towards Hollow Bend. In the front wheel drive car, he turns into the hollow left-hander, bumps over the curb but keeps the power on for the complex at Carousel, leaving the braking as late as possible. Charging into Carousel, lifts the rear wheel for the top part of the bend and he's already up over Deer's Leap into Ashes. It looks a good run for Jim. It could be a possible challenge for the championship lead. And it is a good run, a tremendous run in fact, which snatches a lead from Mike Rudd. Tony caught up with Jim in the paddock after the run. Jim, that was an excellent second run. You've now uh, moved into the lead at the moment, although we still have some runs to go, of course. Um, but first time out for the car in this guise. You've done a fair bit of work over the winter, I understand. Tell us what you've done to it. We've had a year off out uh, competition. Uh, we've got more speed involved with this engine. They pioneered the idea of the motorbike cylinder head uh, BMW 16 valve on the A-series block. And they built us a engine just for hill climbing, producing good torque, low down torque, instead of top end power. And uh, it's the first time out, like you say, and we're well pleased. It's a very intriguing modification, I must admit, and very innovative. Uh, are you going to tell us how much power it's producing? Uh, on the dyno, it was putting out about 170. That's a very healthy amount of power, but still with the original mini block. Still with the mini block. 